everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna do a review on the new Revlon Colorstay 2-in-1 Foundation. This comes with a concealer and a foundation in a little compact. It just has a little puff at the bottom for you to apply your foundation, which I really do like. Um, I still like my Beauty Blender more, but I do like this and I will probably continue to still use this. And the concealer is on top here. I did pick up two shades. I picked it up in the shade 310 Warm Golden. This is the shade that I'm wearing now. So it fits my skin tone pretty well. It's a little on the neutral side and I have more of a yellow undertone, but I can get away with it. And then the second color I picked up is 150 Buff. This is the lightest shade that they had to offer at the stand that I was at. Um, they did have kind of a display stand where it said porcelain, but they didn't offer that shade there. So this was the lightest that I picked from and I thought um, I picked the lighter one just because I think the concealer in this is a little bit dark for me. Anyways, when it comes to foundation, there are three things that are really important to me. First of all is the finish. The second one is the staying power. And the third one is, of course, the coverage. I had to write it down on my cheeks. I always forget. But those are my three favorite things that I always look for in a foundation. Now, starting with the staying power, the staying power is pretty good. It does not last as long as the regular Revlon Color Stay. Um, my skin is pretty much normal right now. Uh, so the way I test it out is I work out with the foundation on. And this held up pretty good. It really did. Um, but this held, this foundation holds up a little bit better. So as far as the staying power, this lasts longer. Um, but this still did pretty good. The second one is the finish. The finish is a matte finish. It has a beautiful matte finish. It's not like a flat, really fake looking matte. It's more of like a skin like matte. I mean, you can still tell that I'm wearing foundation, but it does have a really pretty matte foundation. Foundation. It does have a really pretty matte finish. Now for the coverage. The coverage in this compact is better than the coverage of this foundation, the Revlon Color Stay foundation. With this foundation, I have to use two coats to get full coverage. This foundation, I can use one coat and get full coverage, uh, especially for somebody that has freckles and spots to cover. You will notice that this does cover um, a lot better or it's more pigmented than this, but I still do really like this foundation, but this is just more pigmented. So the coverage is amazing on this. Definitely a full coverage product. As far as how it looks on the skin, like going over fine lines under the eyes and then over my pores, I think it does a really nice job. So I don't have any complaints there. And granted, I'm not like super wrinkly yet and I do have small pores, but there have been foundations out there that I will not wear because they make my skin look so awful. This does look really pretty on the skin. I mean, I'm wearing it right now and you can see that I have a nice flawless coverage. Um, it's not too matte, but it's enough to keep me from looking shiny. However, I did set the foundation with a tiny bit of the Tarte translucent powder just under the eyes and on my T-zone. I didn't set any powder on my cheeks or anything. So um, I really like this powder to go over this. It did a really great job. Definitely really do strongly suggest is always wear a primer or a pore filler. I use the NYX pore filler on matte foundations because I just think it makes it look that much better. I used to not wear primers, but as I'm getting older, they make a huge difference on not only lasting power, but more importantly to me is how your skin looks, how the foundation looks over your skin. And this is a really great one. I've really been enjoying this a lot. On to the concealer. Um, the concealer I do like. It's not my favorite. It's more of a light to medium coverage. Um, it's a little bit thinner than the foundation itself. It has, um, I don't know, it kind of feels like there's a serum in it or something. I really like the feel of it. If you do not set this with the powder, it will crease. This is definitely one of those concealers that will crease. But when I do set it with a powder, I notice it lasts, you know, a good amount of time and it looks nice. It has a matte finish. Um, my only complaint is I wish they would have made it like a corrector or, you know, more yellow toned or more pink toned. So it's more of a corrector or a brightener. It's just kind of a lighter version of the foundation and not much. So you're not going to get that real brightening effect. But other than that, you know what? I do like it enough to continue using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the shade in number 310 Warm Golden, and you'll notice right away, I mean, look at the coverage. Just right away, you instantly can tell that it has a lot of coverage to it. It does have a matte, 
finish. So you definitely want to use um, like a pore filler or a primer. This is a pretty good match for my skin. The shades I notice run a little bit neutral. Um, and I have more yellow undertones in my skin, but I like it neutral more than like on the pinky side because I feel like people can get away with the neutral and the yellow shade versus like the pink shades. So there's half of my face done. You can tell that it made a really big difference. I mean, it covered up all my freckles and this is just one thin layer. So I'm going to go in with the other side and use my beauty blender because I just... I don't know, this is just my favorite way to apply pretty much any foundation. Sorry if I'm making like really weird makeup faces, but we all do it. So here is just one coat of the foundation. You can see that it gives a really nice, beautiful matte finish. It's not super flat matte, so I like that. Um, as I'm getting older, I really don't like super flat matte foundations. So for the concealer, I'm going to go ahead in with the um, compact in the shade Buff 150. I'm going to use the concealer from that. And you'll see that it's not really brightening, but it does do some coverage. So I like that. I'm just going to use my finger. Kind of get in where it is the darkest right here in that kind of cavern. Cavern. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. So you can see that it did make a nice bit of a difference. Um, it does kind of crease after a while, so you got to set it. But, I mean, if you set it with a decent powder, um, I didn't find it creasing. Here we have the shade in Warm Golden. Next to it is the concealer. And then the shade over here, that um, more neutral yellow toned one, is the buff. One thing I wanted to note here, if you look... At the pan you can see where I've used it and where I haven't used it so the it actually the product is lighter than what you think so if I run my finger over it do you see how it kind of takes that film off and it's lighter underneath I paid $15.99 for these at Fred Meyers but they were buy one get one half off and of course they'll be a lot cheaper at Walmart Target places like that I definitely give these two thumbs up just because I really like the foundation I like the coverage I like the staying power, especially if you have normal skin or even dry skin. This is going to last quite a while on you. Oily skin, it, you know, you're going to have some breakthrough, but I still suggest that you try it. I mean, save your receipt because it is kind of spendy. But why I give it two thumbs up is, you know, it's convenient. It has a nice concealer. You know, it's not my favorite concealer, but like I said, I will continue to use it. So I like it enough to use it all up, you know. And then also the sponge it comes with. This is such a great sponge this is a nice soft squishy sponge and you know it gets the job done I do really recommend this product i remember back in the day when i was in high school this was years ago revlon had compacts like this and from what i can remember it seems a lot like it was you know in the past when i used to use these i really enjoyed the compacts too it was just like this you know kind of a compressed foundation like this so anyways guys i hope you had a wonderful thanksgiving stay beautiful inside and out and i will see you in my next video bye guys